Hi, it's Benita here, and I've stopped by the UK booth because the teacher in me saw something that just really jumped out at me. One of the things when I had a class was I wanted to make sure all students could understand if another student had some kind of disability or anything like that. It's really important to build that compassion and understanding. So the UK has a book called Teddy Bow's Feeling Tired along with a little stuffed bear. And this book is absolutely excellent for explaining myositis to children, whether they have the disease or they have a family member with the disease. So I'm going to turn the microphone over. I'm going to let them introduce themselves. They have a special session coming up that I want you to pay attention for. And I'm going to let them describe that just a little bit. Okay, um, I'm Irene Oakley. I'm the founder of Myositis UK, along with my husband, Laz. Um, we founded it in 1985, um, after our daughter had been diagnosed with juvenile dermatomyositis. Since then, um, the charity has grown and we take on the adults as well. Um, one of the things that we like to do is to encourage young investigators. So that's why we've funded the speed funding here um, in Pittsburgh, um, following on from the success full time when we did it in Berlin um, with three people winning the prizes there and uh, it's nice to say that all three of them are still now in research in myositis. <laughs> no it's just to say that um, it's uh, we've, got, we've gone from one extreme because we've got the teddy bear down there and uh, we're also doing speed funding with young scientists. Um, they're both complementary really uh, because without a scientific study and young people coming into myositis there's no future. You have, to, you have to invest in the future and to retain these young scientists. And I think you'll find here at this conference that one of them will be, who's, uh, who we've sponsored back in um, Berlin, will be speaking here as well. So it's, quite, it's, it's, it's proved that Speed Fund has been a success. But getting back to the book, which is quite interesting, because one of the sketches, and I don't want to fumble around wasting your time looking for it, but uh, we had a, um, a picture which is quite amusing, and I'm sure my wife would know which page that's on, and I still will find it. Uh, ah, it's the one. Um, I don't know if you can zoom in on that picture. But you see the doctor teddy bear there is um, holding a bottle. Well, in the original picture, he had a needle. And out the needle was squirt this fluid, which was quite amusing. But we thought, no, this isn't quite the right <laughs> picture that kids would love to see. Although the chap who illustrated this thought it was quite wonderful. I suppose as a night owl, what you think it would be. So therefore, that's been changed. But other than that, the book's the same as when it was originally written, which is so kids can understand and, um, and puts them through different processes of going through the, uh, different uh, sort of hospital visits and so on. Yeah, it's been so very successful. And here we are now, all these years on, which is brilliant. But it was written by um, a good friend of ours um, who writes children's books about the New Forest, in, in uh, animals in the New Forest in Southampton, well, uh, near in Southampton in England. Um, so he, he wrote it and he illustrated it. And then, um, yes, it, then Lucy went through it and made sure that the facts were right. And it was Lucy that picked up the needle with the liquid coming out of it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, it's a lovely book. But I, I would like to just say one thing about Teddy Bow. Um, he was designed to be on steroids because if you look at his puffy cheeks, moon face. he's got the moon face. So Teddy Bow is <laughs> has and moon face. A bit of rain oats as well. Yeah, <laughs> but he's blue. <laughs> The teddy bear, just as soon to say, is a, a, a tiny little thing that kiddies can put in their bag, or they can put in their, if they're in the hospital, unfortunately, they can cuddle in bed. But it's, it's, he's small enough to take around, and uh, and we actually have grown-ups now still got their teddy bow, which is fantastic because he's been around for many yeah. years. We 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 try to, to ask people to send us photographs of his, him on his travels as well. This teddy bow is about to go to Alabama with me. <laughs> <laughs> So make sure that you stay tuned the rest of the week. You might see Teddy Bows floating around somewhere well, he, around the conference usually, too. So. He usually does. Give him some <laughs> yeah. But I want to thank you all for sharing this with you, with us, and you know, thank you for for getting this book together because it's really important for children to have things broken down for them to understand. And you know, just imagine how hard it is for us as myositis patients to understand our own disease. You know, we, we go on Google and try to figure it out and it's always in doctor talk and we can't understand it. So what a wonderful resource to help parents, to help children to understand this disease. So we will be posting later on like how you can get in contact with them to, um, to purchase one of these for your own if you want to. Um, but thank you for sharing with us. We greatly appreciate yep. thank it. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.